Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe our channel for more videos. Today our lecture is about to find the shear force and bending moment diagram of this beam given to us with the two kN load acting uh, from left end at the distance of 5 meter and the 5 kN load is acting at the end of the beam and at a distance of 14 meter from the left support. So there are two supports, one is a hinge and one is a roller. So we are going to find the uh, and calculate the shear force in bending moment. To calculate the shear force in bending moment, first we have to know the reaction forces. Let's consider this is the RA, reaction force at the A point, and the reaction force at the point B, RB. So first we have to calculate these two reactions. So for calculation of the reaction forces, we have to take the summation of moment at point A is equal to zero. At this point, summation of the moment is equal to zero. So let's suppose considering the clockwise is positive and the anti-clockwise moment is negative. So this point we are taking and the 2 kN is acting in the clockwise direction. So 2 is force and the moment arm is 5 meter. So 5. And this is in the clockwise direction with the positive sign. Then again the RB is acting in the anti-clockwise direction. So we are supposed to take it negative. So RB into moment arm. The moment arm is 5 into 5, 10 meter. Then again this force is again acting at the clockwise direction, so again positive sign and 5 kN and the moment arm. The moment arm is 5 plus 5 plus 4, which comes out to be 14. So the summation of moment at point E is equal to 0. So now by simplifying 10 plus 70 and we move this component on the right side of the equation. So 10 RB. So now the 10 RB is equal to the, by adding these two, we get 18. So RB comes out to be 8 kilonewton. So this is now 8 kilonewton. So, so RB comes out to be 8 kilonewton. Now to find the RA, so we will take the summation of the vertical forces is equal to 0. And taking the upward sign is positive and the downward sign is negative. So summation of vertical forces. The first vertical force we consider is the RA. RA is acting upward, so with a positive sign. And then 2 is acting downward, then again minus 2 with a negative sign. RB is acting upward, again with a positive sign. 8, RB is known to us. And then minus 5 because it is acting downward. So by, by subtracting and addition these values, we get RA comes out to be minus 1 kN. So it means that the RA direction is in the downward direction because minus sign shows that it is downward. So we should change the direction of RA in this case and we should put the RA in the downward direction like this one and its value is 1 kN. So now we find the support reactions, we can find the shear force in bending moment now easily. So for the shear force in bending moment diagram, first we have to draw the reference lines. These are the reference lines. We should draw as the first step. Right. So it is the reference line for the shear force diagram in the kilonewton. So the first one is RA is 1 kN. It is acting downward because the arrow shows it is acting downward. So we will put the arrow down and minus 1 acting downward minus 1 kN. Again there is no force so it will move straight and then min 2 is acting again downward. So it will become minus 3. Then no force and then 8 kN is acting upward. So I will move this minus 3 and plus 8 we comes out to be plus 5. It means it will be an above side, plus 5. And then no force, and then again 5 kN acting downward, and we get the zero shear force here. So this was the shear force diagram for this beam. Now to draw the bending moment diagram, we will again draw the reference lines. Zero, and the bending moment diagram, but in the unit of kN, into meter and we should know the area of these shear force blocks so that we can find easily the bending moments. 
So the shear force starting, bending moment starting from here because it is zero, it is a hinge support, so zero here, and then minus one, and the length is five meter. So minus one into five, this is the area of this rectangle, we get minus five. So we will put this value into minus five. Right? Again, this is negative shear force. So we will say minus three is the depth of this rectangle and five is the width of this rectangle. So five into three, 15. So adding uh, 15 to this minus five, we will get the minus 20. As we know that this, these values are the zero degree lines in the shear force. So this will be the one degree lines in case of the bending moment. So this is a minus 20 value of the bending moment here at this point. Now again, the area of this rectangle in the positive direction. So we will add this uh, value into this 20, minus 20. So this value is uh, plus 5 is the shear force in the upper direction and 4 meter in the uh, width of this rectangle. So 5 into 4, we have 20. So adding this 20 into 20, so it comes out to be 0. So we can say that the bending moment diagram of this beam is this one where the maximum milieu of the bending moment here is minus 20 at the distance of uh, 10 meter from the left support here. Minus 20 and 5 uh, kilonewton and meter is the uh, bending moment at the uh, this, at this region, 5 meter from the left support and 10, region, 10 meter from the left support here. The value of the bending moment is minus 20 and here we have got the zero value of the bending moment. So this was the how method that how we draw the shear force in bending moment diagram and don't forget to subscribe our channel for more videos. Thank you for watching our video.